Hi. Welcome to Cloud Design Yoga. I'm Claudia and it's great to have you with me today. We're going to do a very quick core oriented wake up class. For this, I'd really like you to have a block. If you don't have blocks, please have a cushion or even a really light bowl would be really good. We're going to start in child's pose and we're going to get rolling straight away. So when you get yourself into your child's pose, I'm going to put my big toes together and my knees really wide and then just settle down. But of course, if that's uncomfortable for you, feel free to take one that is working for you today. Rest your forehead either on the floor or if it doesn't touch the floor, use that block or cushion that you've brought with you for today's class and rest it on the block. Let's take three calming breaths, inhaling smoothly and softly through the nose, exhaling through open mouth. As you exhale, allow yourself to make it a little bit longer than you feel it allows you to be, and then pause at the end of that exhale, relaxing, inhale gently through the nose. Exhale through your mouth. Pause at the end of that exhale, Inhale gently and quietly through the nose. Last one, opening your mouth, exhale everything out. Notice what it feels like to be in your body before you begin to move. What it feels like in your mind. And then super soft, super easy. Bring the navel into your spine and come upright into all fours. Bring your knees underneath your hips and bring your hands directly underneath your shoulders, pushing the floor away. We're going to start with a good and well-known elongating the left leg behind you, elongating the right arm in front of you. If this is too much, leave the right arm where it was. Just do this with your leg alone. Flexing your left toes, try not to take that leg too high. You're going to then do that from your lower back. I want you to hug in the navel, bring the lower ribs in, lengthen to the opposite directions. Keep your gaze at the front of the mat at all times as you exhale, bring the knee to elbow round your spine. Inhale, reach to the opposite directions, hug in the lower ribs, don't let yourself extend through the lower back. Exhale, bring it in, hug it in, push through that left arm, try not to collapse in the left shoulder, elongate as you inhale. And as you exhale, bring it back in, straight away into what it feels really good. Inhale, elongate, exhale, release the limbs down, tuck your toes under, bring your knees to hover. Stay here, hugging your lower ribs, elongate your neck, relax your shoulders. One more deep breath. As you exhale, take yourself back and up, downward facing dog. I like to take my hands a little bit further forward if that's also your preference, feel free to do that. Pedal your feet, wag your tail, tune into your breath. Inhale, shift forward to plank. Now you know this pose quite well if you're used to yoga. So let's jazz it up a little bit. Take your left hand to the far corner on the left side. Take your right hand to the far right corner of the front edge of the mat and then take your left foot to the far corner of the mat take your right foot to the far corner of the mat taking this long plank hugging your core try not to let your bum come up keep your tailbone nice and long feel the navel having to support each other maybe you tremble a little then bring your left hand back where it was right hand left foot right foot all the way up downward facing dog Fantastic. Lower your knees down, all fours. Push the floor away. Stack your bones. Elongate the right leg. Hug your navel. Elongate the left arm. Optional, obviously, to leave it down. Keep your drishti at the front edge of the mat. Exhale, bring it in, hug it close. Inhale, elongate. Exhale, hug it in, bring it close. Inhale, elongate, push through that right arm, right palm. Bring it in, elongate. And then the last one, give it everything you have, really squeeze and keep that wrist to the front edge of the mat. Don't let yourself follow. And inhale, elongate, 
exhale release tuck your toes under bring your knees to hover try not to let your lower belly collapse bring the navel in push the floor of the hands only about an inch over the ground tailbone nice and neutral send it back downward facing dog hmm fantastic inhale right leg rises up one-legged dog exhale shift forward to one-legged plank take a moment notice how the balance is affected with just one leg touching the floor take it back one-legged dog bend the knee open the hip come back one-legged dog and then exhale shift forward to one legged plank stay here for inhale and then see if you can peel the left hand off of the mat reach forward find your balance take a breath in exhale release the left hand release the right foot take it back downward facing dog find your breath nice and soft lift the left leg up shift forward one-legged plank notice if that bum is still high take that tailbone long push the floor of the hands left toes reaching to the back come back one-legged dog open the um, hip bend the knee ah oh, rest here <laughs> and then release it one-legged dog nice and long come forward to one-legged plank find your balance shift the weight of the left hand reach the right arm forward find your balance notice if it's easier on this side release the right hand release the left leg lower the knees come into child's pose sweep your hands behind you rest your forehead on the mat really went straight into it notice where your breath is hmm. one more deep exhale full 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 bring your hands to the top of the mat come into all fours tuck your toes under send it back downward facing dog lift your right leg up to the sky right knee to nose exhale shift to plank push the floor away hug the knee close take a breath in here exhale step the foot between the hands keep the back knee lifted off the mat inhale rise up crescent let's take care of some of our rotational core so sit nice and low then bring your hands forward peel the right hand in front and behind you now it might not be the deepest twist you've ever taken but see if you can take that right hip slightly further away from the right armpit deep breath in maybe twist deeper exhale inhale reach both arms forward exhale bring both hands down to the floor step the right foot back one-legged dog shift forward one-legged plank stay here for in breath exhale lower all the way down for a sphinx bring your elbows underneath your shoulders and your hands flat on the floor nice and soft what i want you to do now it's going to be neither a forearm plank nor a sphinx so we're going to keep the knees on the ground for this one what i want you to do is lift the ribs away from the floor lift the belly away from the floor lift the hips and the thighs off of the floor try to keep your shoulders above your elbows don't take them back don't take your hips back up keep that tailbone long towards the back of the knees and then look down take a breath in here as you exhale open your mouth let all the air out feel your obliques hugging in imagine you're doing an angry halloween cat in here tailbone is long pushing the flow of the forearms exhale release it down take an in breath in your sphinx tuck your toes under this is familiar and <laughs> bring yourself into forearm plank take a breath in here exhale drop the heels to the right stay nice and square with the arms inhale come back to center of the heels exhale drop them to the left stay here for in breath Stay here for out breath. 
come back to center release the hips down take a sphinx pose inhale exhale relax bring your hands under the shoulders either through all fours or peeling your legs peeling your hips peeling your belly come up to plank and downward facing dog hmm. left leg rises up inhale knee to nose exhale shift forward to plank stay here for in breath pushing the floor away hugging everything closer exhale step the left foot between the hands inhale reach up crescent Find your footing, bring your hands forward, sit nice and low, peel the left hand behind you, pull the right arm forward and pull that left outer hip away from the left armpit. Take a breath in here, maybe as you exhale, see if you can twist deeper. Fantastic. Inhale, come back forward. Exhale, frame the front foot. Take it back, one-legged dog. Shift forward, one-legged plank. Lower it down. One more time. Sphinx pose, inhale. Exhale, forearm plank, lift your knees, lift your legs, your belly. Come back, lower. Inhale, Sphinx, untuck your toes. Stay with those toes toes tucked, untucked, and then see if you can take a forearm plank this way. Take a breath in, exhale, lower it down. Take your right hand towards the left wrist, tuck your toes under, lift the pelvis, come to the knife edge of the right foot, reach your left arm forward, breathe in, breathe out through open mouth. Breathe in and exhale come back release your hips for a very brief rest take your left hand towards your right wrist tuck your toes under take your heels to the left inhale forearm plank bring that right hand in front of you and reach towards the space exhale fully through open mouth find your left obliques tailbone is long towards the heels inhale in exhale out one more breath in full breath out open your mouth find your obliques come back to center forearm plank release your hips down sphinx pose exhale child's pose take a moment here recognizing if you need to moderate your breath If you need to elongate the exhales, staying present, just monitoring the energy levels around you. Fantastic, bring yourself to seated on your shins and then gently slide off your heels and come into lying flat on your back. This is when we're going to knead our block or cushion, relax it down, lay down for a moment, finding the length in your spine, relaxing your shoulders. For the first drill, I want you to, for the first few moments, I want you to bring your knees directly over your hips. So the closer your knees are towards your chest, the easier it is. So flatten your lower back. Today, I want you to be quite deliberate with this. Sometimes I ask you to maintain the curves. Today, I want you to flatten it. Hug in your lower ribs, take your knees over your hips. Bring your shins, parallel to the ceiling, flex your toes. Bring your hands towards the sky. For the first few ones, I want you to elongate the right leg and the left arm. Nice and hover. Exhale, bring it back in. Inhale, elongate the left leg and the right arm. Let it hover. Exhale, bring it in. One more time on each side, or two more times actually. Bring it in. Elongate, don't let those front ribs come up. Hug those lower ribs. Come back in. One last time, each side. Keep everything else steady. And the left leg, right arm. Bring it in. Lovely, hug your knees in. Rock a little bit. Grab hold of your block. I want you to bring the block lengthwise. 
at the maximum setting in between your right knee and right elbow. I want you to mirror the left side to the right, even though that there is no block there. So under no circumstances, let that block slide between the knee and the arm. And we're going to elongate the left side, inhale. Pressing that right knee to the right elbow, exhale, bring it in, left leg and elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Do not lose that holding on the right side. Exhale, bring it in, mirror. Two more times, lengthen. And bring it in and mirror. Last one, lengthen. And mirror. Without pausing, swap the block, bring the elbow in. Mirror the right side, pressing the left knee to that left elbow. Elongate, inhale, exhale, bring it in and mirror. Hug into his lower ribs, don't let them come up. Inhale, elongate, do not lose that left side. Exhale, mirror. Inhale, elongate, exhale, mirror. Last one, elongate and mirror. Relax, let go of your block, put it to the side, bring your knees to your chest. Take a few more deep breaths. And then softly, one more time, bring your knees over your hips, bring your hands to a T or a cactus or whichever allows you in your room. All right, keeping the lower back firmly on the ground. See if you can bring your knees to the left side to hover. Hover them in there. Unless there is a discomfort in your lower back, let them relax, come back to center. Let's bring them to the right. Hover them about halfway, maybe two third. Feel the side body having to work to support you. Come back to center. One more time each side, hover. Feel the body having to work to maintain this. Come back to center, bring it to the right, hover. Come back to center. And last one, to the left, and let them go all the way down. Now, if you're like me, you really want to bring those hips slightly further to the right. Feel free to do so, unless you're really comfortable, then stay where you are. Letting yourself enjoy this twist. Maybe look to the right. Maybe look to the sky. Maybe look to the left. Let's take two more breaths wherever you are. Relaxing your shoulders down. Relaxing your knees. Full, full exhales. Gently come back up. If you've taken your hips to the right, bring them underneath you, bring your knees directly above you, above your hips. Take your knees to the right, hover, 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 and then let them rest down. And again, if you're comfortable here, you can stay here. And if you want, you can take your hips slightly further to the left. Definitely is something I prefer. And on this side, I always feel like the right hand on top of that left knee just adds a little groundedness. Otherwise, that left knee kind of wants to come up. Noticing the differences between your sides. Maybe look to the left. Maybe keep looking to the sky. Let's take two more breaths. Really turning down the short and sweet practice. And come up. Level your pelvis. If you want to take a Shavasana, take Shavasana. If you want to take your feet as wide as the mat, knees together, I always find that allows my sacrum to have a little bit more spaciousness. Alternatively, bring your feet together and knees wide as the mat in supine butterfly. Feel free to stay here for however long you have the time to stay here today.
when you're ready in your own time, awakening the body, bringing yourself to one side, then eventually to seat it, allowing your head to be last to rise and eyes to stay closed. Take the few moments to recognize where the energy is in your body right now. What does it feel like to be in your body? What does it feel like to be in your mind? Take one more deep breath wherever you are. Bring your hands to prayer. If you join me, sat down. If not, just allow yourself to bring the hands to your chest as you are lying down. Bow your head down. Thank you so much for being here with me. Enjoy the rest of your day. Namaste.